Hello and welcome to this digitalphotographycourses.co.uk tutorial on using layers in Photoshop. Uh, now one of the things that separates Photoshop from many other editing programs is this ability to use layers but that can be a little bit difficult to grasp at first. So if we just take a look at this image that we have here maybe this will kind of explain it for you. What we have is um, if I just turn these these Layers off for one second. What we have is we have a background. Uh, on this background, if you kind of think of this as your white piece of paper, and then if you imagine drawing a blue circle onto a piece of clear acetate and then stacking it on top of the white piece of paper, you would see, for all intents and purposes, a blue circle on a white piece of paper. Then we can draw a red box, um, and if so, we could also write some text onto another piece of acetate. And if we stack these all on top of each other, for all intents and purposes, it would look like one solid object. But at any time, if we took one of those pieces of acetate away, then, or in this case, we turn the visibility off, then it would appear that that part, or the red square in this case, had actually gone away. So that's how layers work. And what I like to do is I like to have a nice little um, uh, little project for you to really try and give you a really good understanding about how layers work. And, uh, and it's basically to draw a little cartoon man. Layers are the way that cartoons are made. They would have a back, when the cartoon makers would draw Bugs Bunny or Daffy Duck, they'd have a background layer and then they'd put the uh, Bugs Bunny on the, on the layer on top of that and move him about and the background layer would say static. So the first thing we're going to do then is we're just going to minimize this and we're just going to create a new uh, document for you to be working on. So the first thing to do is just go to File, New. And you need a document of around about 600 by 800 pixels. would be absolutely fine. And I'm just going to call this Cartoon. There we go. And just click OK. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw a little Cartoon Man. And so the first thing we need to do is you need to make sure that your Layers palette is open. And if it isn't, oops, excuse me, there we go. If it isn't, this is it just here. If it isn't open, then you just need to click on window and you need to go to layers and you've also got the option to press the F7 key which will open the dialog box for you. Okay, so this layer is called background, this is the white one just here and think of this rather like your piece of paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw on here but rather than draw on our piece of paper we're actually going to have a layer of uh, acetate, a nice clear layer of plastic, and we're going to draw on that layer. So we need a new layer, and to do that we have this, this icon down here, which says create new layer. And now you see that we have a layer called layer 1. At the minute, it is completely transparent. It's, uh, that's indicated by the fact that it's this sort of grey and white checkerboard effect. If I actually switch off, the visibility of the background layer you will see that we have this transparent image and what we're going to do is we're going to draw on top of this transparent image so it's layer one at the moment so what I'm going to do is we're just going to draw a little man so we're going to start off with his head and the way we do that is by selecting the selection tools over here and the one I'm going to use is called the um, if you click on the rectangular one, you can choose the one called the elliptical marquee tool. And with this, we can draw a circle. There we go, we have a selection. And what we're going to do now is fill that selection with a colour. And the colour I'm going to choose, we'll have a nice rosy pink tinge for him. There we go, uh, somewhere around about there. And we're just going to fill this selection with this colour. And the way we do that is we go edit fill and we say foreground color this is the foreground color I'll click OK and there we go at the moment then so we have a selection still we just need to deselect that and the way we deselect a selection is by selection deselect or the shortcut which is control and D so there you go we now have a pink circle if I just take a quick look at the layers palette you'll see that we have this thing called layer 1 and on layer 1 we can see a representation of this pink circle so if I just switch that visibility off the circle goes away 
you'll switch it on it appears okay so what I'm going to do is just get into the habit of saving these layers and giving them names and the way we do that is we create is we double tap on the layer and I'm just going to call this one head because that's what it is to, wait, to select it just press enter and that will make your selection so the next thing I want to do is give this chap a body and the way we do that is we just go new layer and there it is just going to name it while I'm here so we'll call it body okay and just as before we'll use the elliptical marquee tool and I'm just going to draw a circle there we go and I can just move them around a little bit if I need to and this time we're going to fill it with a different colour so we'll give them a nice green top there we go and we go edit fill foreground colour so that's the green click OK and there you go to deselect the shortcut was Control and D so you just go Control and D and if I just look at the layers palette you will see that now we have a body layer and a head layer okay and we can switch the visibility of those layers on and off so what I'm going to do now is just create another layer here and we're just going to go along and carry on with doing his legs and we'll have another layer for his arms there we go and we can carry on and build up layers for feet and all sorts of other bits and pieces so the trick is, is before you draw your um, arms, let's say, or his legs, let's say legs here, make sure that you are on the correct layer. So for legs, let's go and draw his legs now. And what we'll do is I'll just use the this tool here, which is the polygonal lasso tool. And that will allow me to just very quickly, each time you click, you select the anchor point. There you go, we'll give, give him some feet while we're here. There we are. There, there, these legs going up. Nice pair of trousers. There we go. As you can see, sort of artwork is not my great forte. But there we go. Double click at the end to close the selection, and you see there that we have sort of a reasonable, hopefully, pair of trousers. And uh, we'll make these blue jeans, so we just select the colour choose a nice blue there we go and just as before edit fill foreground color and OK and control D to deselect and what we can do the great thing about layers is we can actually move individual layers about so if I just go to the layers palette and make sure that I'm on the legs layer and select the move tool I can actually move these legs about a little bit there we go and if you want to you can fine tune this using the arrow key so I'm just going to go off and finish this now and add a few more layers and then we'll come back in a second or two okay welcome back so I've just made a couple of additions here for some a nose on some hands and some buttons but what I would like to show you is that at the moment his, his body is like a bit of a big <laughs> so his body is actually hanging over his trousers what we can do is I can actually click on the trouser layer and drag it up so it appears on top of the body layer and now you will see that his trousers are over the top of his waistband so that's a little sort of experiment for you to go on with uh, if you'd like to go and have a little play with that and I will see you at the next session thank you very much